Hey, it's Dustin, and this is video four in my NaNoWriMo series. In this video, you're gonna see me write 2,000 words in 15 minutes using just four or five prompts. But first, I hope you had a great weekend. If you haven't watched the previous videos, to create your plot outline and get to this point, I'll leave a link to the playlist for this series in the video description so you can start from day one. Uh, let's just touch on two quick points about NaNoWriMo before we get started. So number one, NaNoWriMo is just about getting the words down on the page, so don't worry at this point about editing, we'll come back and do that at the end. I was tempted to edit and release every chapter of this story for everybody to read as I go, but honestly that's way too much work. But don't worry, I'll do some videos about editing in December once we're all done with this first draft, so we'll figure things out then. Just get ChatGPT's bulk of the text down and then we can go from there. And second, at this point, we've actually started the writing process and as the days go on you might start to feel some resistance, but Make sure that you keep pushing. Remember that it's only one month. In our case, we aren't writing on weekends, so it's more like 20 days, and hopefully you're only writing for about an hour a day, so stick with it. You got this. Try and tough it out and get your book done. And lastly, shout out to everybody that's been watching all of the videos so far and commenting. Ethereal Jellyfish, Crispin Brown, Alexander Dunleavy, Cope Spoken, and more. Feel free to jump into the comments and talk with us. Ask me any questions that you want about writing or chat GPT. Share how your NaNoWriMo experience is going so far. I'd love to hear. Uh, if you're following along with these videos and doing your own story and anything else that you want to talk about. But now let's jump into ChatGPT and see what I'm going to write for today. Okay, so I changed the layout for this video. I wanted a way to get ChatGPT and my outline and the actual draft that I'm working on on the screen at the same time. Let me know what you think of this layout. But anyways, here's the first prompt that I used. I said, that's the end of chapter one. Now let's begin the next chapter, chapter two. This chapter should start with a typical day in the mines. Hermie and his fellow miners are diligently working. Include dialogue between Hermie, Durin, Bori. It's mostly banter. The section piece should be a thousand words long. The point of the section is to provide an ordinary start to the chapter. Remember, we're working through one plot point at a time. When you're done with this, I'll provide further prompts. Yada yada. Oh, and um, so I realized that my chapter was <laughs> going to be way too long. At the end of the last video, I was already up to uh, 4,000 words. So I decided to cut it off there. So that's why we're starting a brand new chapter here. And I'm also going to kind of mix and match and choose different uh, plot points from later on as well. But this is the first chunk of text that it generated to start at chapter two for me. So I'm just going to look through this real quick and then paste it into my document on the side there. So at this point I realized uh, Hermes talking about his desire to go sailing and stuff, but I never really explained where that came from. Somebody actually mentioned this in the comments, so I'm just leaving myself a note here. I say, how does Hermes know about sailing in the ocean? Add context here during editing. Like maybe he learned about it uh, when he was on a vacation outside the mines with his family or something, or maybe he's just been outside the mines, or maybe like just diplomats and uh, people, traders coming in and out of the mines have told him, and that's how he's heard about it. So I'm going to highlight that, and then during the edit phase, I'll come in, add some extra dialogue explaining that right there. So I used kind of like a unique prompt to start the chapter, but now we're just going to go back to the same kind of section by section one that I used in the last video. I'll pin all of the prompts again in the comments so that you can easily access them. But we're just going to say continue writing the section of the chapter. It should be a thousand words long. Talk about what the point of this section of the chapter is. And then kind of give a description of what I want it to do. And then we'll stay on track there. So I was going to start writing about the cave-in and the mine at this part, which was the next plot point that I had listed, but then I remembered about the glowing gem, and I decided that I wanted the glowing gem part to actually be before the cave-in, and then the cave-in would just block off the shaft where he saw the gem, and it would just end that part of the story, basically. So I'm going to change the prompt that I was writing here to uh, add in the gem part, and then I'll come back to the cave-in afterwards. So 
Now I'm basically just covering the first half of the gem encounter in this prompt, and then I'm going to have a second prompt where he kind of talks to his co-workers, the other dwarves, about stories that they've heard from deeper in the mine. But this is just like him seeing the gem and being like, hey, did you see that? And then goes back to work. So not much really story advancement here. I'm just padding the chapter with a lot more words, basically. So all the generic stuff is staying the same here. I'm just changing the prompt for the next one to be about Hermie and his co-workers discussing tales about what's deeper in the mine, and then I mention the specific things that I wanted to cover, like weird music and uh, whispers and people having weird dreams after they've been in the mine. So I end this prompt by saying the section should only contain conversation about the gym and the characters shouldn't take any action because otherwise they might immediately start going after the gym, but I just want them to be like discussing rumors basically at this point. So now I'm done rearranging and inserting the gem part of the story that I wanted included there, so I just double check to make sure that I've got all the gem stuff covered and then we're gonna go back up and now I can start prompting about the actual uh, cave-in that's going to happen, and that's probably going to be all that's going to be included in this chapter. And to make sure to add in here that in the process of the cave-in, that shaft where he saw the glowing light from the rubble is closed in forever. It actually never mentioned that it was a gem, but it's going to come back later in the story. I think that it's going to appear to him as a, in a dream or something that there was this mysterious glowing gem that was in the mines, as I mentioned in my outline, or as the outline mentioned to me. It kind of acts as like a thematic thing for the story. That this gem is going to keep popping up for him. Here I have to decide which of the co-workers is going to die. I guess I could have left it up to ChatGPT, but I felt like Bori was the least cool name out of the two. So Durian gets to live and Bori's going to die here. And I'm just checking if there's anything that I wanted to include in Chapter 2 as well, or if I'm going to leave all of the post cave in stuff to be kind of dealt with in chapter three. So we're gonna run that prompt. I just kind of read through here and make sure that everything seems good. ChatGPT hasn't added anything totally crazy that I don't want in there. And this stuff that I've written just in these few prompts ended up being 2,200 words, so I feel like that was plenty for chapter two. So at this point, there's kind of like a split between the plot outline and how my story actually goes. Usually one chapter in the plot outline might get split into like one to three chapters so that's just something that happens you just have to be flexible with it and kind of change things as you go and use your best judgment as a writer to create the best story that you can don't go purely off of what chat gpt does so you're kind of doing like a little bit of rearranging here and then obviously at the editing phase we'll do a lot more of that 